Hey, what's up everybody? Mr. On Demand, man with Master Plan. Thought I'd come and give you the best browser options I can. I'm just going to give you one browser option. This is an alternative to Firefox and we're going to go ahead and install it and I'm going to show you how to get it. Uh, it's LibraWolf.net, really good web browser. Uh, a lot of people are upset about the terms and condition, privacy information, uh, news about Firefox. Uh, I'm still using Firefox, not really worried about any of that myself but for those of you who are and those of you who would like to have an option it's always good to have extra options out there and this is librawolf.net and we're going to go ahead and do the installation and we're going to select windows because we're on windows now if you're on another operating system obviously you're going to need to install it for that operating system because windows is the most used operating system that's what we're going to install it on um Download LibreWolf uh, x86 64 setup exe. So we're going to go ahead and click that. You can do a portable one too, which I'm not against. I actually like doing a portable. I'm just going to do the standard install for this video. What portable means is that it runs on its own without uh, the need of a full installation. Um, so that is kind of a neat thing. So we just downloaded it. I opened the file that we downloaded and it's going to open the install. And we're going to go through the install of this. I don't have this installed on this particular computer yet. And you're going to go ahead and see this uh, go through the full installation. A lot of times I show people a program and I'm like, I've already installed it. I take you to the website, show you where to get the file. And I just say, oh, open and do a standard install installs if you've installed any program you should be able to get through that particular portion of it i shouldn't have to show people how to install every program i try not to waste time in my videos showing you things that really don't need to be shown people want to see the program they want to see how it works and they want to see why it's good but this wasn't going to take very long um, so we just installed it let's try to find uh, out if it put an icon on the desktop somewhere So let's find, let's find it in our programs, shall we? Uh, Libra Wolf right there. So there is Libra Wolf. And I'm going to go ahead and create a shortcut. You might notice on this machine, I'm still running, um, put this over here with my browsers. I'm still running Windows 10 on this particular computer and uh, it will get updated to Windows 11 in a future video. Um, and I'll probably be going over and doing some tutorials on that and what I think you should do during a Windows 11 setup and showing you all kinds of little nifty tips and tricks on how to configure and set up the operating system. Uh, well, at least the way I set it up and you can take whatever you want out of that video and apply it to your own needs. Um, but here we are, a blank browser. Um, and what I was going to show you in this is that you can import your bookmarks. Um, it's already looks like it's imported uBlock Origin uh, from Firefox. And if I import the bookmarks, I can select where I want to import bookmarks from Chrome or, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so my bookmarks... Uh, I have quite a few different users in Chrome. Let's just do that one. Okay, so now I've got uh, my book, looks like bookmarks and other bookmarks. Okay, yeah, I got a bunch of bookmarks in there. Okay, so um, that's how you import your bookmarks. Normally, most people are just going to have one account to import from, so it won't be as difficult as I had. Uh, I have multiple accounts for multiple different reasons, so that's why that was the way it was. And the uBlock Origin is installed. Here is the settings area where you can adjust settings and adjust the look and appearance. Uh, if you want it in dark mode, uh, for instance, website appearance. Let's see, this feature is disabled uh, because resist fingerprinting is enabled. This means LibreWolf will force web content to display in the light theme. So I have to... Um, do, I have to disable the resist fingerprint uh, wherever that is. Huh. 
haven't had to do that before. Um, so the resist fingerprint uh, option in here somewhere, if I want to put it on dark theme, I'll have to find the resist fingerprint option in here, wherever that is. LibreWolf updates, performance, browsing, network settings. Now, if you want the light theme, you don't got to worry about this. I'm just doing this because I know a lot of people do like the dark theme. So I wanted to find the spot for the resist fingerprint. Save themes. Dark theme enable. Okay. Well, that's all it was. That's, that's all it took. So I just had to go to extensions and themes and then enable the dark theme. If you want it in a dark theme, that's how you do that. And then there's other themes in there as well, depending on how you would like it to look and, you know, make it look to your satisfaction. Uh, that just depends on you and what you would like uh, when it comes to uh, that particular software. That's it. That's how easy it is. It's really easy just to download a web browser. <laughs> I mean, it takes all of a few minutes, you've got it downloaded and it's ready to go. And if you've got bookmarks and stuff in another web browser, almost all the web browsers have an import feature to import that information over. So it doesn't really, it's not really that complicated for you. I wanted to go over this though, because I had a lot of people asking me, they said, well, you know, a lot of my clients and stuff are like, well, they called me up. Well, what about this stuff going on with Firefox and, you know, Chrome is, is you know, my ad blockers aren't blocking ads anymore on Chrome. What do I do? And I would tell people, well, use Firefox. And then some people, I don't really want to use Firefox. And I'm like, well, you know, there's another option for you. You can use this browser called LibreWolf. If you don't want to use Firefox, that's, you know, really up to you. What you decide to use at the end of the day is your decision, not mine. It's your computer. I don't have to use it. You do. So whatever you're using, make sure that you're comfortable with it and uh, enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if it was useful to you. If not, let me know down below why it wasn't and uh, in a comment. And uh, subscribe if you want more stuff like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. You have a great day. Bye-bye.